Hi again. Right, so we left off at positive psychology. Let's look at the next perspective, which is the cognitive perspective. Uh, this is all often referred to as the cognitive revolution in psychology. And this represented the most profound break from traditional behaviorism. So right around the time that humanism took hold, another movement emerged in psychology called the cognitive revolution. Um, and, and this happened because some psychologists were returning back to the original roots of psychology put forth by William James. Remember, we looked at him earlier. So this group of psychologists wanted to study the mental processes, excuse me, the mental processes again of the mind. And so this was the birth of the cognitive revolution. So the cognitive perspective asks, how is knowledge acquired, organized, remembered, and used to guide behavior? Um, cognitive psychologists scientifically explore the ways we perceive, process, and remember information. Um, cognitive psychology has been especially helpful in developing new ways to understand and treat disorders such as depression. Um, cognitive behaviorism has been shown to be particularly effective in treating this disorder. Uh, cognitive neuroscience is a relatively new field that combines cognitive psychology with neuroscience, in other words, the study of the brain. Um, so cognitive neuroscientists study perception, thinking, memory, as well as language. So some influences in cognitive psychology are Jean Piaget. Um, he put forth a theory of intellectual development of children. Noam Chomsky studied language and how language is acquired. And then there is the field of cybernetics. And this is the science of information processing. So one of the questions that students ask me is, OK, cool, all that theory, I get it. But what does it mean? How does it, how does it relate to the psychology that I know or psychology in the real world? Um, I was recently watching this movie again, Goodwill Hunting. And um, if you haven't seen it, it's a great film. I recommend watching the whole thing. Lots and lots and lots of good messages in there. But here you'll find a clip of two different psychologists actually practicing in their fields. So you're going to see a cognitive psychologist working with Will. And you're going to see a psychoanalytic psychologist working with Will. So pause the screencast here and go ahead and follow that link and check out this video. All right, so this, this uh, screen shows us how humanistic psychologists look in the real world. So another clip from Goodwill Hunting that I'd like you to watch, and again, this is a very short clip, but very good. Um, and this shows a humanistic psychologist working with Will. And this is the psychologist that actually had a breakthrough. And um, some might say that um, this psychologist had a breakthrough with Will because he wasn't doing anything to Will. He was actually connecting with him on, in an authentic, genuine, real way. And so go ahead and take that. Uh, follow that link trail and watch that. All right. Last thing is, on the D12 page, I uploaded a Who Am I handout, and uh, I'd like for you to go ahead and, after watching this series of lectures, uh, see if you can't answer that uh, matching part of that handout. Once you've done that, you'll have a, a good leg up on studying for your first quiz. All right, take care, and uh, the next section, we're going to talk about research methods next week. Bye.